when you opened your box of Mankin, you saw this thing on top, and maybe it had spun a little bit, but you saw a pair of plates and some pieces and a sign that was labeled the astrolabe. Um, an astrolabe really is an ancient navigation tool that was used to identify the stars, elevation above sea level, all kinds of other really interesting things you could do with one. Now, I am not an expert on astrolabes, but I'm going to tell you that there's a really cool website called theastrolabeproject.com that provides a way to design your own astrolabes, has patterns for them, a computer that will generate them. And so we've taken that and built an astrolabe for you on a really pl pretty stand that I think is going to work really well. We want to start with the pieces we gave you. And I'm going to, you'll notice that we've got a nylon nut on the back and this is a 7 8 inch screw so i'm going to pull those out and set them aside get them out of our way for a minute what you have that's part of your astrolabe is a back plate and a front plate and something that we call a ret don't ask me why and we're going to want to be able to put those together so Let's look at the, a little bit at the rest of the pieces and then we'll look at what we need to put together to assemble and finish decorating and preparing your astrolabe. We've got a pair of feet in our bag. There should have been a bag for all of the extra astrolabe parts. There's going to be a piece here that we call a rule. That'll use for some measurements. There's also a piece in your box called the Adelaide or yeah, aid aid. I don't know what it is. And I've created a way to actually get it a little bit thicker. So there's a little bit of gluing we need to do with that, as well as a little bit of gluing we need to do um, to get our hand, our set stand together. So we're going to do a little bit of gluing. You're going to want to take these pieces and decorate them, but probably watch the video first to see how the pieces go together, and then you can decide what decorating needs to be done and what finishing needs to be done. I'm going to take my back ruler, that's the one that's straight, and I'm going to glue this onto it. What we're doing is we're giving ourselves a little bit of depth to this piece so you can actually for use it for sighting the height of a star or other pieces. It will the back of this astrolabe will allow you to measure elevation um, and to look and compare calendar scales and the zodiac scale as well. So all I've done is simply put those two pieces together um, to give us a little bit more depth so when you're looking up the side of it you actually have that depth. I'm also going to glue these two pieces together carefully to give us a little bit more strength for our hanger on our stand that we're going to build. And I've put those pieces together and we'll glue that together like so. And then the last piece to glue together is a little more of a challenge because we're going to want to combine the back plate and the front plate and get them glued together and make those be glued together and nice and straight and flat. So as usual when I'm doing this, I'm going to put a screw up through the back of the back plate. That's the piece with all of these cool rules and measurements on them. I'm going to put lots of glue on this one. The two pieces I have happen to be a little bit warped, so a little extra glue to get them together isn't going to hurt anything. So I'm going to use that screw to make sure I get them aligned as well as the outside edges. We're going to push down good. And solid. I'm actually standing up to do that to make sure they stay nice and aligned. All right, once you have all your pieces glued together, you're ready to put together your astrolabe. This is the front, this is the back. 
Notice that these are built for a custom latitude and longitude. So if you want something specific to your location, we've built this for the Steamy Tech. Um, let us know, and for a minimal charge, we'll cut you a new one um, at your location. But if you're just going to use it for decoration, it doesn't really matter anyway. Or if you're in Northern California, you're probably fine. We're going to take and put the red in front of the front plate and put the rule, which is this double-sided one, in front of that, like so. So we're going to put all of those four layers together with our 7 8 inch screw. We're going to flip it over and we'll put this on the back. This gives us enough thickness to do some siding and add our nylon nut to that. And once we've done that, the astrolabe itself is built and ready to use. Spinning that, spinning the wool or the rat. So all we need to do is put our stand together now. You're going to take your sign, add the two little feet to let your sign stand up properly, like so. Take the hanger and hang it over the top of the sign. You're going to have to use a little force to get it in. And then you can just take your astrolabe and hang it up on the back. And you're all done, and you've got a beautiful astrolabe to display in your home. And make yourself look really smart. Bye!